100 BYU students, many of them holding signs, protested on campus today. As religion specialist Carol Makita reports, it was in reaction to a clarification in the changes to BYU's honor code. Carol? Two weeks after a change in the honor code wording, a clarification came in a letter from the commissioner of the church educational system. With it came a Q&A from the director of BYU's honor code office. Some students reacted by protesting. This was the scene this afternoon on BYU campus. About 150 students, some with signs, gathered to protest the honor code clarification. In his letter, Elder Paul V. Johnson writes that adjustments in the honor code have led to much discussion and some misinterpretation. He wrote that same-sex behavior cannot lead to eternal marriage. Therefore, any same-sex romantic behavior is a violation of the principles of the honor code. When asked about whether students are expected to report such behavior, Honor Code Director Kevin Utt replied that they should encourage one another to comply with the Honor Code, but encourage is not synonymous with turn someone in. The students we spoke with had differing opinions. The Honor Code office here at BYU had no clue what was happening, so they are just as whiplashed as we are. Um, and today it essentially took away all of the hope that us queer students had about being able to live as we are. It's always been the church's stance uh, for worthiness and people voluntarily like sign the honor code when they decide to come here. So it makes sense to me. BYU responded with a statement from President M. Russell Ballard to the students on campus yesterday. We are all children of God. That makes us family, brothers and sisters, bound by a common divine heritage. That one simple unifying fact should override all else that we allow to cause separation and division among us. And students asked another question. How does the Honor Code Office work with ecclesiastical leaders? The answer, the Honor Code Office does not work with students, ecclesiastical leaders, about their behavior. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News.